Welcome to Dodger Stadium. We're going to be treated to a gorgeous day for baseball on the show. It's the Colorado Rockies taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers. And now, your 2000. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after Los this. Angeles Dodgers. Just about ready to go. And starting this one, Lance Lynn. What do you have on him? Well, I'm interested to see how he utilizes his sinker to this lineup, Boog. You know, it's not necessarily his go-to primary pitch, but he does mix it in when he needs it. He's just got to make sure that it's not flat. Otherwise, it's going to get hit hard. So look for him to throw it up there when he needs Leading a big double rock. play, a ground ball, the something like that to get out of an inning, Darlene. change it up for what? a hitter. Also, get those hitters looking down so that it opens up the top of the strike zone, especially late in and at bat. Bounce to the right side. Betts whips it to first. One out in the top of the first. Batting second. The shortstop, Ezekiel Tovar. Ezekiel Tovar digging in for the Rockies. Come on, fellas, let's go. Check swing, makes contact, but that's foul. Righty delivers. And that one missing low. Lance Lynn, former first-round pick by the Cardinals. He went to Old Miss. It was drafted in 2008. And, of course, when he was a rookie in 2011, he helped the Cardinals win a World Series. Outman pulls it down, and there's two away. Hey, man, four pitches, two outs. That is an excellent pace. Ryan. Two outs, base is empty. Next for Colorado, Ryan McMahon. Broke into the big leagues playing for manager Tony La Russa, and Lynn just an absolute workhorse on the mound. You know, only four pitchers nope, threw more innings from 2019 to 2021, and he's thrown 200-plus innings now. several times. That's the type of pitcher every team wants, Boo. On the ground, and foul ball. Next offering is in for a strike. And there's a ball. Next pitch is downstairs. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Rockies are down quietly. The Dodgers coming up, and we are scoreless. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Back here at Dodger Stadium, our starting pitcher in this one, Peter Lambert. Well, he's a guy that needs to establish himself. Just settle in that first time through the order. Be able to command your first pitch, maybe a secondary pitch, and not show too much. Colorado. That will allow you the to get through the order a couple of times before having to turn first. it over to the bullpen right. in those middle innings. They're looking for this guy to get through the lineup a couple of times at least, limit some damage, and just keep him in this ballgame. Ripped on the ground a second. Fires over to first. And a quick out number one. That is fifth. The left fielder, number 22, Nolan. Now here's Nolan Jones. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average, but one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. In there for strike one. They're so reliant on the matchups nowadays, Chris, and it's huge when you don't have to sit a guy or platoon him. When you can hit you know, both sides in terms of pitcher's arms, you're a guy that it's hard to take out of the lineup, and I think it's very important today when everything is under the microscope. Swings and misses. One and two. One 
Next one is off the play. Two and two. And the pitch. Just a weak fly ball this time. I got it. Me, me. Peralta flashes the leather on the run and catch. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing him down. He's settling in. you got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. Down the right field line. That's a base hit. Batting seven. The second baseman. So two down, next Rogers. to hit for the Rockies, right, yeah, Brendan Rodgers. Ball oh. one low. And the righty deals. Tap to first. Freeman takes it to the bag, and that is the third out of the inning. The Rockies strand one. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. And welcome back. All set for the start of the inning. Now it's the right fielder, Hunter Goodman. Hunter. Lynn, a former All-Star, 35 years old, and they traded for him earlier this year. There's the strike. That one drifts inside. Next offering is down low. Two, one. Swings through that. And he deals. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Slider got him for strike three. Wow, just great bite to that slider. Broke hard out of the zone, and he just couldn't hold up the swing. You know, as a hitter, that pitch is really hard to take, and there's just not much you can do with it. You know that, but you don't want to get rung up by the umpire. So in now for Colorado, Brenton Doyle. There's a strike. Here comes the 0-1. That's a ball. Comes up empty. That's strike two. You tie a guy up like that, you're feeling like you are in command. Swing and a miss, struck him out. And Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance, get him out of there, and deal with the next guy. So the batting order turns over. There's Chuck Nasty. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Blackman, multi-time All-Star. 36 years old, and he was a second-round pick back in 2008. Two outs. Curveball drops in for a strike. Well, he's gotten ahead with two pitches down in the zone. He has plenty of options right here. He can go up, he can go away, he can add velocity, he can subtract. Oh, that's out. Next pitch is outside. Hey, all right, here we go now. Rojas 
Sends it to first, and the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Rockies. And it remains one nothing. Back here at Chavez Ravine, John Chompy with Chris Singleton, and set to lead off the fourth, Ezekiel Tovar. Lynn back to work. There's a strike. All these Rockies, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. So many of their outs have come from weak contact on pitches they're chasing outside of the strike zone. You can't do much of anything with those locations, and that's been true again today. Ball to strike. The pitch. Good eye in that spot. And as a pitcher, when the hitters are swinging at everything, you feel no need to challenge inside the zone. You just keep working the corners and expanding that strike zone and beyond, and they just keep eating right out of your hand. Towards first. Yeah. And he takes it himself for the out. The third baseman, number 24, Ryan McMahon. Ryan McMahon steps to the plate. His first at bat was a strikeout. Misses outside, ball one. A little bit low. Well, he looks more focused at the plate and working the count after that first at bat strikeout. That one missed, now three and oh. Rip to first, caught. Nothing you can do about those as a hitter. Even though you know that, they still drive you absolutely crazy. Here's Chris Bryant now. 0 for 1 so far. First pitch just misses. And that curveball drops in there for a strike. pitch that's ball two two balls two strikes gets a piece there we'll do it again Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. That's down. One hops off the wall. And he's got a double. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. When you connect and it jumps off your bat like that, you're thinking double at the very least. Put a great swing on it, and man, he wasn't fooled at all. Man at second here with two away. Next for Colorado, Nolan Jones. First pitch doesn't find the zone. At the belt and fires. Foul ball there. Two outs and one in scoring position. Hey, now we've got two. Swing and a miss. Ball. It's two a ball strikes. and two strikes. So
swings and misses, struck him out. Chased the fastball up the ladder for strike three. He's in a tough spot, had to make a great pitch, did it, got the strikeout, gets out of the jam. Clearly, he's happy with those results. Welcome back, and here's the catcher, Elias Diaz. Leading off to Colorado, the catcher, number 35, Elias Diaz. And a good fastball to start him off at strike one. And here it comes. Out towards right center field. Outman as he glides to his left. No trouble here. Puts it away the for the out. Seven. And there's one away. Brendan Rogers. Now it's Brendan Rogers. Grounded out his first time. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. That one's in there, 0 and 1. It's just been an impressive outing so far. Continues to pound the zone pitch after pitch, and he's been able to stay down. That's what's been key. Oh, one, one down. Line drive, base hit. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Hunter Goodman will hit next. He's 0 for 1. That one's in there. Strike one. late on that okay, fastball don't play situation here he's been working up in the zone typically you look for guys to get that ground ball see if he adjusts on this next pitch the 0 2 and a swing and a miss and he's down on strikes for the second time today and he'll be beating himself up the on the way back to the dugout the got a pitch to hit Brenton and just couldn't get to it Joya. I think that slider Really caught way more of the plate than it was supposed to. Brenton Doyle digging in for the Rockies. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. Pitches in there. That's strike one. Hey, two outs here. Two outs. All right, Los Angeles. To the right side. Throw on to Freeman. That's the third out. No runs, one hit, no errors, and a man left. Last half of the fifth coming up. It's the Dodgers one and the Rockies nothing. Back here at the ballpark, all set for the top of the six. Here's Charlie Blackman. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. Ball one, no strikes. But all these Rockies just lacking discipline at the plate in this ball game. Chasing pitches has been a big part of the story. We've seen it quite a bit today. It's been tough for them to make contact at times, and it just doesn't look like they're seeing it very well as a group. Hey, here we go. Come back into the mound. Slings the first. And that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. Now batting, shortstop, Ezekiel Tovar. And the batter will be the shortstop, Ezekiel Tovar. And on the mound, you know confidence has to be pretty high with all of the swings and misses. He's had him eaten out of the palm of his hand pretty much all game. Swing and a ball lifted in the air, shallow left field. Peralta hauls it in for the out. That's out number two. The third baseman, number 24, Ryan, Ryan McMahon, McMahon digging in for the Rockies. And that's in there for strike one. He's controlling things out there on the mound, not messing around at all. He's been in attack mode since the very start.
And the 0-2. and miss struck him out and that is that nothing across here this half seven eight nine do up in the home half of the inning it's the Do back here at Dodger Stadium now at the plate the first baseman the Rockies in striking distance but have some work to do Boog it starts with the laid off man I need a good at bat out of him right here that's in there strike one oh and one They say it went. No balls, two strikes. Hey, get him yourself right here, huh? The 0 2. On the ground, right side. Freeman takes it himself. That's the first out, the top of the seventh. Now batting, left fielder, Nolan Jones. Next to hit for the Rockies, Nolan Jones. He's a guy, Chris, whose highlights include some of the best throws from the outfield that you will ever see. Definitely one of the best arms in the sport. In there, and it's 0-1. Yeah, the infielders and the catcher can never give up on a play because if this guy thinks he has a chance, he's going to throw it from the warning track if he has to. 0-2 oh, as he waves at that one. count one and two talk about the right guy at the right spot they really need a rally and this guy is someone you can believe in to find a way to get on base hit hard on the ground is short and two away to start the seven the catcher number 35 Elias Diaz two outs base is empty and now it's Elias Diaz one for two. And yeah, he swings and misses, and it's nothing at one. Well, this guy on the mound's done a lot better than we would have expected, and the hitters just don't seem to have the right game plan. They're taking too many mistake pitches for called strikes. On the ground at first. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Nothing doing for the Rockies. They trail in this one, three nothing. We're at the top of the eighth. Here's the second baseman, Brendan Rogers. Brendan Rogers. And a pitch. In for a strike, and it's 0-1. Swing and a miss as he was out front. That one down the line, and he grabs it in foul ground. And the right hander deals. That misses the zone. It's a ball and two strikes. Two strikes. Got it by him for the K. Went right after him with that two-strike pitch as he continues to roll on the mound. Yeah, he's not out there trying to nibble at all. He is attacking the strike zone. And I think when your confidence builds as the start goes on, still putting up all zeros on the scoreboard, gives you a lot of confidence that you can really continue to go after these hitters. And that wasn't the best pitch for the strike out there. And he'd probably admit that, but he got it by him. Misses off the inside. One ball, one strike. There's the strike at the knees. Hey. 
Next offering misses down and away. Bounce back to the mound. Throws to first. Two up, two down here in the top of the eighth. Good fastball in on the hands. Makes the swing a little defensive. Jammed him up right there. And now here is Brenton Doyle. Singy, you've got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. That misses the zone, and it's 1-0. Oh. He's so solid, calms the heart rate of the pitcher and the manager when the ball goes up in the air. You just automatically assume that it's an out every time it's hit in the air. Pitch misses there. Two balls, no strikes. There's one guy that I can think about, Boog, who started as a third baseman, Alex Gordon, and then became an elite perennial gold glover out in left field for the Kansas City Royals. But he's a guy, when you watch him play, you would imagine that that's all he ever played in his life was the outfield. Next one misses, three and one. Yeah, some guys just have instincts, right? I mean, that's the way it goes. We talk about Larry Walker, the Hall of Famer, and his instinct on the bases. Lined in the left center, and that should be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. Drove that ball nicely, put a great swing on it, and it jumped off his bat. Kind of put it all together there, and he's rewarded with the double. Now it's Charlie Blackman. Come on. Remember Mark Kotze, who was a real good defensive outfielder. Good oh, instincts, not great speed. Doyle on its second with two down. And a big swing and a miss. Yeah, and I figured you would get Katze into this because you had a free dinner at his house the other night. That is true. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Plays at first now. Man on second, two down. That one off the mark, and it's one and two. Definitely a swing and miss slider down and in. He finished that really well. Just couldn't get him to offer at it. In the dirt, blocked. And an excellent job keeping it right there. Runner at second, two down. Struck him out looking. A controversial called strike three to end the inning. So one left for Colorado. They trail it here, three nothing. All set to start the ninth in this one. Now it's the shortstop, Ezekiel Tovar. Tovar. The pitch. Just missed. And a foul ball. Ball to strike. Swings through that one. One and two here. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. Now one away. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically likes to shoot the ball the other way, but that time, a little anxious. Ryan McMahon digging in for the Rockies. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. 
So far, this guy's been able to tease the strike zone, gets those swings and misses. Somebody's going to have to shorten up, be a little more patient, and make this guy work in the zone a little more. Next pitch is outside, and now it's even one and one. And that one hammered back there. And it's gone. That was a moonshot, and they inch closer. It's 3-1. Oh, that one got in the jet stream on a line drive. We saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders, which is usually bad news, and... All of a sudden, they're back in this ballgame. It appears Dave Roberts is going to dig into his bullpen as he comes out of the dugout to make the change. That's it for Lance Lynn in this one. We'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound. So the Dodgers have a new arm on the mound, Evan Phillips. And we all know about his slider. It's just Your filthy, man. Lead. And one of the better ones now in the game, I'd say. The spin rate's very high, and Number it just breaks a ton. Evan Phillips. He's out. 3-1 ball game. Quick game. We were looking for a little bit more. It seemed at points the offenses were going to break out, but a total of four runs combined. Really good pitching and defense on both sides. Just a couple of key swings making all the difference. And your final 3-1. Dave Roberts and company celebrate in the dugout for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon. You're now.